Hey Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Capricorn and it is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation but of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on for you. Second half of March, 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Three of Cups crossed by the Nine of Wands. Okay, so I feel like there's a situation here, a connection where it's like, you feel like you're about to come back together or it feels like there's going to be this reconciliation but it's also feeling very very difficult like feeling like how can this possibly happen when there is you know such a painful past for example or when things just seem so difficult for this connection to work um, for your energy we have the king of cups the nine of swords and the king of swords. All right. I, oh gosh, okay. It feels like you're torn between your emotions and your thoughts. It's like your emotions are telling you one thing, your thoughts are telling you something else. And because of that, it's like you don't know what to do. And it could be that there's um, a lot of thinking about this. Let's see for them, the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So you're heavily on this person's mind as well. You're showing up right here in their energy. It's like this person is trying to move away almost from this connection because there's something that is just so conflicting here in this connection but then it's like they change their minds and then they come back and it could be that there's a bit of back and forth um, for the potential outcome we have the two of pentacles yeah so it does feel like there's this fluctuation and just really trying to balance out the energies that are in this connection just give me one sec because the cats suddenly want to come in the room It was one cat and it was Mannix. Okay, so Capricorn, let's clarify. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see this three of cups with the nine of wands. All right, the four of swords, the ten of wands, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're both aiming for peace. Like you both just want to be healed. You don't want any more conflict. You don't want any more struggles. You don't want any more pain. Um, none of that. It's been like a very, very long road is what I'm getting here. But it's like there's, there's still this pull, there's still this magneticism towards one another. And that's why there's this energy of a reconciliation of, you know, can we be happy together? But there's this big question mark at the same time together with that. And as I'm saying this, I have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck as well. So just like a confirmation. Some cards are flipped over, give me one sec. All right. It does feel like, you know, whatever, whatever it is that has been going on here um, between you and another person, regardless of whether you are coming back together now or never or whenever, it does feel like things are actually getting easier. I'm, I'm getting the sense that, you know, it's like things have to get so heavy before they can actually be released. But there's this healing that is happening through 
through this experience, whatever it has been for you. And I actually feel like this, um, this healing that is happening, the releasing of whatever it is that is conflicting here, it's something that is kind of happening behind the scenes, even when it comes to your own self. So it's something that you're not able to fully see possibly at the moment, but there's this healing that is happening, which is ultimately going to lead to that more peaceful state. Let's see this King of Cups. In your energy, we have Judgment and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels like, you know, the, the feelings between the two of you are mutual, right? Um, they have the Queen of Pentacles here, you have the King of Cups, which is representing them and also how you feel about them, right? Your emotions towards them. You know what your emotions are. You're very much aware or you are becoming very much aware of your emotions. If you had been repressing them in the past, you are becoming... Um, very aware of them and acknowledging them and this is actually proving to be very healing to your own self. Let's see the Nine of Swords. The King of Swords again for you and the Chariot. All right, so it's this it's the king of swords that is creating most of the stress so it's the thoughts that you might be having around this or around whatever is conflicting i feel like there's a fear of things moving forward actually with this person which is interesting um i mean it might be something that you want because you definitely have the emotions and the love for this person but there's also a fear of things moving forward because it's like you're not really sure what would happen. Like, are you going to get hurt, for example? Um, is it going to create more pain? All of these are thoughts that you are having, which is not really contributing to your healing. Um, acknowledging your feelings is what's contributing to your healing, even if it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are together with this person or accepting this person. It's the acknowledgement of your feelings, which is healing, even if it's temporarily painful. Let's see the King of Swords. <laughs> the Queen of Swords. What's up with all these swords? <laughs> and justice. A lot of air energy for you, Capricorn. A lot of air. Um, it feels like you're, you're thinking, 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 thinking to the point where it's the thinking that is creating the stress. You're very determined here about wanting to make the right decision and I feel like that could be what is also contributing to your stress because you're just so anxious, um, so worried, so concerned about whether you will make the right decision or not. And that's actually proving to be like a barrier to your own sense of healing. So you are healing on the one hand, right? As I said before, but what spirit is showing us here is what can actually be um, slowing it down a little bit or inhibiting you. I do feel like you are moving in the right direction overall. Like in the like overall scheme of things. But this is just more of like, you know, guidance to not worry so much about, about the outcome or about the decision that will be made here. It's like you're you're moving in the right direction regardless. So worrying isn't really doing anything positive for you right now. All right. Let's see for them. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. 
it, it feels like this person has a similar similar fear here. I mean, you're very heavily on their minds. Um, they're thinking about the long term with you, about the potential of this commitment being very solid and permanent. But they're also, they're doubting it as well. It's like they have this fear as to what that would actually mean and what might happen. Let's see the Six of Swords. That's why Four of Cups and the Six of Wands <laughs> are really interesting because I feel like what they're doing is, so they're trying to move away from this, thinking that they can find peace if they can just move away from you. Right, thinking that that can you know be successful and that they can find their victory in that way, but it really only leads to disappointment. It leads to disappointment and to them feeling unfulfilled. So let's see the Knight of Swords, Ooh, the Tower, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so it's like this person just you know then hits this tower. And like I said before with this card, it's like they change their minds and they turn back around. Because notice how in the Six of Swords, it's like in the image here, this guy on the boat is moving away from the Queen of Pentacles, right? Which is you, but then the Knight of Swords is turning right back around and moving back in that direction. Which is the direction of truth, which is the direction of their wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups. But yes, it does come with a tower. So I feel like they, you know, by trying to move away from you, they hit this tower, right? Where they realize the sense of um, emptiness or possibly settling for something, you know, less than you. Just this disappointment. That's what brings on the tower. And then so they, there's this return. So let's see the two of pentacles for the potential outcome here. All right, we have the devil and we have the three of wands and the knight of swords again. Okay, Capricorn. So first of all, um, the devil, this is representing you, all right, your energy. Um, yeah, things, I mean, they still feel a little bit like fluctuating, like still not 100% decided just yet. But I, again, it feels like, you know, it's that, that contemplating, that overly contemplating about it, all thinking about too much about the future and possible scenarios, like what if this and what if that and what if the other, that is what is toxic for you. That is what is not not productive for you. So what I'm getting here is, you know, this person, right, I see them coming back in. They're taking some action here, um, coming back, and you're being asked to just, you know, not worry about anything until that time. And I know that's easier said than done. But don't stress about having to make a decision. What I'm getting here is that, you know, things will slowly begin to balance out you know you might be you might feel like you're bouncing from one extreme to the other but um, slowly but surely you know you will find exactly what it is that you want here okay just give yourself time um, be patient with your own self you don't need to rush any decision at the moment okay that's like I feel the the main point here all right, Capricorn, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Be gentle with yourself. You don't need to pressure yourself so much and to be so worried about doing the right thing. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So, yeah. You know, don't be too harsh on others or on yourself. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.